Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how I am pushing the Z9 Mini Batch 2 beyond 650 MHz. But before I show you this, you need to like my video and subscribe. So now it's okay? There's just one more thing you need to do and that is to click on the bell uh, so that you, you get a notification when a new video comes out. I hope it's okay. Perfect. So in my last video we saw that the Batch 1 could go up to 750 MHz per second and Batch 2 was stable at 650 MHz per second. Any higher than 600 50 mega hash per second then one of the chains will go offline at some random point. When a chain goes down you lose a third of your hashing power. The problem is you need to know when this happens and then you need to reboot to be able to continue hashing again. The higher you clock the frequency the more frequent you'll have to reboot. So whilst looking at the batch 2 I noticed two of the machines were under 50 degrees celsius and one of them was above 50. So I thought maybe I can push these beyond 650 mega hash per second but I didn't want it to watch these ASICs all the time and then reboot them when there was an issue. I've written some code in PHP which collects the information from the A6 every second. We can see the IP address, the name that I've given the A6, the model name which has come directly from the ASIC. We can see the chip status, chip temperatures, the fan speed and all the other information. As you can see from the frequency I've actually upped these up from the 650 mega hash per second already. As well as collecting the information every second about each ASIC it monitors the chip status and the hash rate. If some of the chips go to the X state which means the chip is offline or if the hash rate drops below a certain threshold it will reboot the ASIC for me. The highest that I've seen so far is 64 kilosols per second which is 4 kilosols higher than the stable version. So we you can see the third ASIC was the most recent one that I'd rebooted and that is at 687 megahertz. I'll now show you what happens if I force this to crash but before I do this I just need to stop the scripts by either closing this tab or going somewhere else. I know the batch 2 will not work on 750 megahertz per second so I will force it to go into 750 megahertz and then rerun the script. So we can see the third one has gone offline. The script is a bit slower because it's trying to connect to an ASIC which isn't there anymore. As the ASIC boots up we'll see the information being populated. It hasn't read the chip temperatures yet. We can see that the frequency is set to 750 megahertz. I think I've pushed this a little bit too far so this isn't going to actually start hashing. The other fail safe part of the script is that it will not reboot until the ASIC has been running for two minutes. I won't make you wait for two minutes so I'll just jump ahead. It's now been two minutes and it should do a reboot. So we can see rebooting at the top and now it's gone offline. I'll try it at a lower frequency. Let's try 700. 700 is also not stable for the batch two. Here is a picture of the batch one hash board on the left and on the right we have the batch two hash board. We can see two components missing here and another two missing here. These look like inductors and this looks like a chip which controls the inductor. So it looks like Bitmain have purposely removed some of the power circuits in order to restrict the power available to the ASICs and that's why I believe that batch 1 is able to run at a higher frequency but the batch 2 onwards is not able to do this because they have been starved of power. You can't just add more power because these components are restricting the amount of power that the ASICs can use. Oh look at that, our page has a verified tick. Batch 3 has gone online, the fan is at full speed, it did say 16 point something kilosols per second, however 700 megahertz is too high for the batch 2. There has to be a careful balance on how high I can put the frequency to how often the ASIC has to reboot. If it's constantly rebooting then that's a lot of downtime when it's not hashing. So we can actually see it's beyond 16 kilosols per second. However after some time this will start failing. That now seems to be happy at 700 megahertz. So I'll try to make the second machine fail. We can see on the right hand side I've got a profit field so I've not finished calculating that. So that will calculate the revenue and deduct the electricity cost. Later I will add the other A6 including the non bitmain ones. I'll probably have to relabel the file name. This will fail at 700 megahertz because this one is running at a higher temperature. It's gone offline. The third one has just gone offline by itself. We can see that this one is running at 10 kilosols per second. So if we have a look at the second one that's an indication that one of the hash board has gone down. It's running at 0.55 at the moment. The chips are not in the X state. That will happen after two minutes. It's now gone to 0.00 so the scripts will 
still have detected that this has gone below the threshold but it needs to wait until the two minutes is up. I could shorten the time but I've left it at two minutes for now. We might get a glimpse at the chips going to the X state and now we do see four chips in the X state. Three of the conditions are met. We had four chips in the X state. The threshold was below what I was expecting it to be and it had been two minutes. So that's how the script works. Later I could modify the script if it sees that the ASIC has been running fine for maybe eight hours it could up the frequency if there's a problem it could drop the frequency automatically but for now it's a manual process I've set them all to 681 megahertz for now I might leave it like that or if I notice that they do start failing and rebooting then I'll lower the frequency back to how I originally had them at the start of the video we're at 62 and a half kilosols per second other changes I want to do is make this and these hash rates as two decimal points maybe neaten up these two columns at the moment all of this is hard coded later I'll be having a feature where all I have to do is add the IP address in from the IP address in the database it'll, it'll interrogate the ASIC grab its name as it has done here and then populate the rest of the information based on the name it receives the highest I've seen the hash rate is 64 kilosols per second I don't think it's going to be possible to push 66 kilosols per second maybe with a bit more cooling but I won't be able to push the frequency higher because of the power limitations I've written the script now because the Z9 Bigly Big League. Big League. has been delayed about five to seven days, which is good news for the Z9 Mini people and the A9. Bitmain are going to be giving people a $90 coupon, which is not much really. If you've liked this video and found anything useful, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't done already, please subscribe and click on the bell for more notifications. And could you also like my Facebook page? And I'll see you next time.